Let's bring in now Greg Lukianoff. He's the co-author of The Canceling of the American Mind. So you understand the ideology at stake here. He said she had a mental disorder. How would you describe the situation? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I actually have a lot of compassion for this woman because she's probably been taught this her whole life. She's probably actually been rewarded for it many times. She's probably won arguments and had adults actually tell her to reinforce the fact that you're mentally unwell, who, who knows if she actually is, that you're oppressed, that people are after you, and that, that essentially this, you're learning this in K, in, from K through 12 on up and certainly in higher ed. And as we pointed out in Coddling of the American Mind, my last book, this way of thinking about yourself will make you miserable. Because why? Because viewing yourself as a victim will lead to depression? Uh, that, that's the whole premise of the book. And there's also something more serious going on here as well. This is showing a way of arguing that people are learning in K through 12 and, and on campuses that, is re, that, that only relates to your identity, to your oppress, uh, alleged oppression, etc. It's a way of arguing without actually addressing the actual topic you're arguing about. And it's completely destructive to debate and discussion. We can't fix a problem in the entire world if we're, if, instead of actually focusing on the argument your opponent is actually making, you just completely ignore it and go to your identity. And we call this actually in the book, uh, The Canceling of the American Mind, the perfect rhetorical fortress on the left. It's a, it is this wonderful kind of like amazing system by which you never actually have to address your opponent's arguments. You just basically wear them down and tire them out. Yeah, you don't actually have to argue, um, you, and you just avoid everything, and you can avoid accountability, too, apparently. She expected to avoid accountability. And, and, it, and it's probably worked in the past. And, and, I, and, I, and I know people seeing this don't actually understand how common this way of arguing has become on campus and how much more, unfortunately, you're going to be seeing, seeing of it. And again, this is a system, it doesn't let us fix any problems. It alienates people from each other. It makes the people who actually believe it miserable. It's a real disaster for the whole country. It sure is. Well, one of these days, Kai, or however she'd like to be described, must show up to drinking and driving class. <laughs> she has to. That's the law, no matter whether you're non-binary or not. Thank you so much. Everybody go check out your book. Uh, thanks for having me. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.